billed as America's largest free arts festival, attracting more than 350,000 people each year. We're wrapping up day one of Artscape 2014, but organizers have a lot more in store for visitors through the rest of the weekend. 11 News reporter Kai Reed is live in Midtown Baltimore with more on this very popular event. Hi, Kai. Hi, Stan. And people are still making their way out of this first night of Artscape, and vendors are packing up their things. It was a very big crowd out here tonight. A good start to the prediction of at least 350,000 people by the time the weekend's over. The theme this year is Join the Movement, which of course is all about artistic expression. We came here for the food trucks and for all the local art and just the atmosphere. Yeah, well, we plan on walking around, getting some free stuff, and uh, having fun with the baby. There's a little something for everybody at the nation's largest free arts festival. You can take a ride on a Ferris wheel, eat yourself into a food coma, and watch artists create their masterpieces right in front of you. Lots of cool photography, painting, lots of cool painting, making me wish I could paint, uh, lots of music, uh, all the fun stuff. The hundreds of artists come from all over the world, and this year many of them are showing off the way they move. Aerial performers and circus acts at the new Aerial Arts Arena and professional dance companies help support the motion theme for this year's festival. And other new things, just a lot of new music, uh, local bands, national bands, so each year we try and mix it up a little bit so you never know what you're going to find. Field Day on Charles Street is also new, where people can play Twister and try out carnival themed games. And the always popular Kidscape is all about kid friendly, hands on activities and workshops for the youngest Artscape lovers. Organizers work all year to put on an Artscape better than the last, and Baltimore always wins. The economic impact of the festival is estimated at $28.5 million. And that's folks coming in from out of town, staying in hotels, going out to restaurants, parking. All of that factors back into the economy for Baltimore. And there's so much more going on this weekend, we couldn't get to everything. So we have the concert lineup and some traffic information, some parking information on our website, WBALTV.com. The hours tomorrow are from 11 to 9, and on Sunday from 11 until 8. We're reporting live in Midtown, Kyrie, WBAL TV 11 News.